Welcome back to Pilar, Random Book Reviews. This is my five-year update. I've done this channel for five years now on April 19th, I believe. So this month will be five years on the channel with almost 2,000 videos, over 1,000 subs, and almost no watch time per year. So not monetized. Um, that kind of became a secondary goal. When I started, it was just kind of fun, something to do, and I started to really like doing YouTube. And got a little bit, not traction, but you get your first 100 subscribers, it feels good. Actually, your first 50, your first 100, 200. So every 100 feels really good. So I got to that 500 mark. I was like, that's great. Then last December, got to the 1,000 mark. It dropped down to 990, like almost the next day. So that was kind of frustrating. But got back up there thanks to some very nice people in the YouTube community. So even though my watch time, my click rate uh, percentage is very low, uh, it's like 2%. You're supposed to be between 5 and 20%. So out of the 122 million people to watch YouTube supposedly every day, not too many people stick around to watch my videos and that would be my fault. So going through my catalog and stuff, of course, early on videos, you know, they're your first YouTube videos are not that great, but they gradually get a little bit better here and there, depending on what I'm filming with. I started with an iPhone 5 then went to an iPhone 6. Uh, this is like on iPhone 12 and a 6. Going to test out the Adobe um, voice modulator to fix the noise gate. Hopefully that's going to work as well. But that being said, watching my old videos, they don't provide much um, content for the viewer, right? A lot of it, and still is, it's like, look at my stuff, right? Because collectors are kind of like, look what I got. It's cool. I want to share it, but it's kind of like, hey, look at my stuff. And it's hard to like navigate around that. You do want to show like if it's bad, you definitely want to tell people, hey, maybe not buy this. Don't spend your money on it. Uh, if it's good, you're excited that you got it. And me, I'm excited about getting a good deal. So I am a deal uh, bargain person for collecting. I don't like, like paying over $20 for anything. Uh, so collectors and collecting action figures, WWE, whatever I collect is usually going to be under 20 bucks for the most part. That's the goal. And I had a goal in mind, like early on, you're going to see a lot of board game stuff and maybe some Xena stuff. So those are my main collections at that time. Uh, I've collected action figures in the past. It got out of hand and I've gotten to the point where to me, it's gotten out of hand again because last December of 2023, places like Ross and Ollie's just got a bunch of great characters for action figures. You had G.I. Joe Classifies, uh, you have He-Man Masterverse. And they still have some here and there, but they were everywhere. And they had Marvel. Some people got the Sentinel, some people got Spiral. I did not get the Spiral. Um, and some of us, including me, I think would double up. Because it's $4.99, it's $12 to $24 on Amazon. You're getting a great deal. It's something from my childhood, like G.I. Joe's Nostalgia. I like to show characters, like Stalker's an awesome character to me. So I grabbed Stalker, the twins, they're all cool looking characters. So, Initially, I thought to myself, get a core list in your mind. Maybe I should write it down. Like the core list for me would be like, I need like one Darth Vader. I need one Captain America. I need one Superman. I need one Snake Eyes. I need one Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know, one Bailey and so on and so on, right? But when deals strike, you start to spend more money. It's a good deal. You're like, ah, I'll just get this one that's cool. You do like it because you like the character. Do you need multiples? I don't think so. Um, I could see people that are like in box collectors buying one to keep them packaged and one to open. I understand that. Um, and I, I'm going to do that with some things. I think keep one in the box and open the others because I have plenty of openings on the channel. So I may just open everything. I don't know. But I wanted to share this experience because uh, I'm not sure how to change gears or if I'm going to change. Well, I need to change gears because obviously I'm not providing enough content for the viewer. So I need to make better videos. Uh, I've changed some of my thumbnails that didn't seem to have too much of an effect. Um, so maybe I need to make better thumbnails, provide better content overall. Um, I know how to play is like kind of evergreen content. They call it evergreen because people will come back to it. I think they'll reference something uh, versus like, this is my collection, look at my stuff, kind of show and tell, if you will. Uh, type of channel, right? And even then, some people stay longer at other channels uh, other than mine, I've noticed. So, engagement will be a goal. 
quality. I think quality's got a little bit better. I've got some, some more stuff. Like this, I have cameras now, some better lighting. I think I'm better talking on the camera. If you go way back, like the first 10 to maybe 15, 20 videos, I'll seem, well, I won't seem, I'll be kind of angry because I didn't like where I was living at the time or the job I had. Uh, still blessed to have it, so thank God. But I was very angry at the situation, and when I'm angry, it's easy to enunciate, uh, get my point across because I want to, it's, it's easy to be direct when you're angry. So I think some people discount anger, the anger emotion as being useful. It can be very useful. It helped me get started on the YouTube journey. So, and here we are now. So not being monetized and I'm it sounds like I'm complaining and I am complaining about that because, you know, it was like a secondary goal initially and then became more of a goal. Uh, getting a thousand subs was awesome. So that was a great achievement. Um, but now the good things that happened where I met a lot of cool people, a lot of people in the collector space, uh, the comic book space, you have people like Slim Comics and more, Gary V, the casual comic guy, uh, recently Cali Collectors, more of a Hot Wheels collector. So because I collect all kinds of different niches, I don't have a niche channel, which we say is detrimental to growth. And it might be, but I don't want to be bored. Um, maybe I'll do a dedicated channel to something else, but Random Brick Reviews is kind of for everything. Anything I want to do or see or I want to share, like, is this Dollar Tree knife worth your dollar twenty-five? Because sometimes I'll get a, a Walmart dollar knife a lot of times for work. And you would open it up, and maybe by the 30th time you flip that thing up, open, the, the handle would bust apart, right? So it's just a waste versus a Dollar Tree knife I have. I've had it, the silver one, I don't know, over a year at least. And it's opened many boxes. It's very dull now, but it's still, it's functional. And it hasn't fallen apart into pieces. And things like that. And then, you know, the comic book covers, because I like the art. Sometimes I get around to reading a comic and do an interview. Uh, books. So physical media, I am going to cut back on that and probably downsize the collection a little bit just because it's getting to be so much stuff. And like I said, I had an initial list in my mind that I got away from. I think that might happen to a lot of us. We're like, we're going to stick to this, but like that thing's $4.99, I'm buying it, right? Because it's, it's great. But this is just a five-year update. Uh, I've been on this channel for five years. I've had a very interesting and fun time doing it. Uh, meeting other collectors, checking out their channels. Uh, we also do a podcast on Friday nights. So that's Fridays at 10, 15 uh, Eastern. You're always welcome to join the podcast. You know, it's usually just kind of, um, for lack of a better word, nerd culture, like gaming, movies, stuff like that. Uh, nothing serious and nothing heavy because the world's heavy enough. And I'm, it's just a space where you can just hang out, uh, tell jokes, laugh, you know, try not to be really offensive or anything and just have a nice, nice time. Stop in, chat a couple minutes on the chat, or you can be on the podcast. Uh, we'll send you a link if you have a way to me for, for me to email you, to blah, blah, blah. You know how that works. Anyway, a little off track. Five-year update. Uh, my watch time, <laughs> you need 4,000 hours. I have uh, over 1,400 hours, so... Um, quite quite far away from that and you have to maintain that so that's why gears may need to change or how I do things but this channel I like I like doing it so that being said um, thanks for watching triple R have a good day or night wherever you are <sighs>